365 days of horsemanship. Um, yeah, still haven't got my video numbers together, but I feel really good about it in that I kind of had a choice today. Today was definitely a day where it crossed my mind, like, don't come, you know, there's no time. And instead spend the, a little bit of time just sorting out the vlogs. And I definitely could have done that. And deciding to prioritize actually being here with the horses is just really a great mindset for me to be in, I think. Um, because this is what really, this is the key. This is what really matters is the time with them. And, you know, tomorrow I have the whole day after I finish my night shift. Obviously I'm going to be sleeping in the morning, but tomorrow there will be a window and so it was really nice not to skip my horse window today um came up just did me as plats really um and that went quite well um I had to be insistent about it because I just really needed to get them done and um yeah and it was nice to feel like they weren't really actually too bad so I managed to get them all done in less time than it would normally take me which was great and I also was kind of practicing a little bit just when she would like blow out or like show any sign of curiosity or feeling better about the situation or anything then I would just stop and take a breath and be in flow and you know I feel like with time that will just keep getting better it's definitely hard for me to accept imperfection and push through something that I'm not happy with. Like, you know, I'm not super happy with the fact that I made her have her plaits done today, but also, you know, it must be pretty uncomfortable for her as well when they pull. Um, so, so yeah, so I felt good about that and went up to see Lawrence. Just literally like quick hello, scratches, goodbye. Um, but even that, like he was like, yeah, cool. Um, so really mostly today, I think I'm just proud of myself that I came, you know, like today I really wanted to take care of my fiance. He's been cooking a lot recently and he's really had my back when I've needed support with family stuff recently and he really struggles after night shift so I really wanted to make breakfast today and make dinner for us and kind of realize oh my god the day is getting away there's no time when am I going to see the horses feeling that frustration come up and not like sitting with it too long not letting it paralyze me because often that kind of frustration really paralyzes me and then I'm like, oh, no, I can't do anything because I'm just gonna sit here for 45 minutes thinking about how no solution is the right solution and waste time that I could have spent actually doing some of the things that I wanted to do, which is a classic pattern for me. I'm definitely like a freezer, pathological freezer for sure. Um, and yeah, so, so it was really good to kind of like feel the frustration, feel my priorities tugging at me, make a decision. And what's happened out of it actually is that now tomorrow I can come up. The weather's not going to be as nice tomorrow, but I'm glad I got some sun and it's much nicer doing an unpleasant job when the weather's good because there's not, it doesn't feel as bad. Um, and tomorrow I don't need to worry about me as plats. They're done. Um, and so that makes me feel really good. So even if all I did today was get a job off the list, I'm really happy about that. So, so yeah. And then happy that Lawrence was able to so quickly just be like, oh, okay, we're not doing a thing. No worries. Goodbye. It's really nice too. Um, so yeah, looking forward to coming up tomorrow. Really happy that I made it up today and really enjoying the weather.